order all students to shave they don't they don't do this so in islam it tells you that you're as a man your trousers your your dress your lower dress has to be above the ankles mm -hmm. so does this mean if i go to school or to university with my uh, uh, trousers above the ankle that I will be banned and I have to extend the length of my trousers you get people wearing shorts you get people girls and, 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 and women going with mini skirts or, or, or even shorter so than that naked. and this is okay this is a okay but to cover your hair as a, as, as a, a decent woman a girl what what harm is this what harm is there in this so again this is not applied in the West itself in the Muslim countries it is definitely not applied it's only applied when they claim they have ballots they have a, a voting system to choose which party rules and even that with the Western standards hmm. this is unacceptable for example if we look at Palestine now they went to the Palestinians went to the uh, uh, ballot boxes they chose their representative and it was Hamas the normal thing would be is to accept Hamas as a ruling party but did they do this no. on the contrary they've boycotted Hamas they've stopped all financial aids and they're threatening any Muslim country that would support Hamas and I tell you any Muslim country that does not stand with the other Muslims worldwide is not a Muslim country there, there is something wrong in them because they are not applying the rule of Quran and Sunnah you should fear Allah Azza wa Jal. you should not fear the West or the so-called democratic countries um, there was a point I wanted to refer to democracy as um, thought it was saying it's the rule of the people by the people and it enshrines the right of the people to choose their own ruler and to remove him if he does not or she does not in in that sense um, do the proper thing or rule in a right way is there in Islam who who should rule from an Islamic perspective from the from in Islam who should rule and do the people have the right then to choose remove their ruler I mean okay this is a very sensitive question now in Islam those who come to power come through two ways one way is to be elected or nominated or chosen for example when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away he did not indicate or he did not tell the fo his followers whom to succeed him so the elite of the companions gathered and they chose Abu Bakr when Abu Bakr was it at his dying moments he chose and said to his citizens that Omar will be my successor mm -hmm. and again when uh, Omar was in his dying moments he selected six of the ten that the Prophet Sallallahu died uh, being pleased with them and he told these six to consolidate to, to talk and to, to, to negotiate and select one of them to be the ruler and they chose Ali Ibn Abi Talib so this is one of the ways to select a ruler I'm afraid that this is not applicable, applicable. nowadays mm -hmm. because uh, it's very difficult to uh, apply. We move on to the second way of selecting the Muslim ruler is by the force of arms. So if there were to be a ruler that has got to the top of the authority uh, or to the top of the pyramid by force, whether he overthrew someone, he uh, took it by hook or crook. He just, he, he, he was, he's there. Mm -hmm. Now, us as citizens, as long as he, he has reached the top and he is ruling, then we should uh, 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 obey him. Now, one would say, okay, why not overthrow him? Mm -hmm. Why not 
remove him. This again would cause more harm than good. And Islam looks at the benefits. See, Islam as a whole, as a religion, it is comprised of things to bring up, to gain the advantages and try to complete them and to prevent the disadvantages and lessen them as much as possible. Everything has advantages and disadvantages. disadvantages. But Islam always goes to the max. So mm -hmm. if the pros are more than the cons, then this you is what we should yeah. do. Now, who has the power to remove uh, 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 the governor or to, 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 uh, to remove the ruler? No one. No one. As long as he's a Muslim and he prays and he does not do anything that nullifies Islam, our Prophet tells us that you have to obey him. That's, that does not mean you cannot advise him, you cannot protest in a civil way, you cannot complain. Yes, you can do all of this, but you may not by any means overthrow him or disobey his orders, providing that he is still a Muslim, he prays, and he applies the Islamic Sharia. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we'll take a short break. Abdullah, and then we'll come back to you with your question in a second. Just this quick break. La, 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 la. Space, an endless void whose secrets are still unknown to science. A flawless system of billions of galaxies and the stars, planets, comets, asteroids, and clouds of gas and dust all moving together in perfect harmony. time in the life of Holy Prophet, Salah was ordained by Almighty and what are the achievements of Shabib Miraj? These two questions I think are related. Was a beloved Prophet ordained to offer Salah and what is the significance of Miraj in connection with Salah? Brother, exact date, day, like how we know when he died, when he was born, we don't know, but it was towards the early part of his prophethood. And welcome back, Abdullah. Um, I just was saying that when uh, people in the Western world just travel to our countries, they say that there is contradiction. There is a huge contradiction between uh, what is really uh, on the floor and what is. The teach what is the teaching of Islam about uh, democracy and co consultation and this stuff? So, in in this case, in this case, they blame they blame Islam and they say they condemn. Oh, this is this is Islam and this is. So, how could we correct this? Uh, this so, you mean that in the fact that, that that we are supposed to be, for example, that an Islamic state, for example, does bad things within itself? So people say that this is what. Yeah, yeah. We just we just um, saying about Islam, but, but we're not actually we, doing. We're not, yeah, actually, we're not uh, affecting anything relating to this. I mean that uh, when they are just talking about uh, freedom, they are talking about many mm. things. Um, so it is not it's not easy uh, to convince them uh, with something that you are telling them about, and they could not just see it. They could not just observe it. Well, it's only fair to say that we're not perfect. You cannot keep on living a very big lie by saying, no, everything is okay, we we're applying Islam 100%. Th th this is a big lie. We are not perfect. We have 